Hey guys, it's BMA. Welcome to day 20. And today I'm continuing on my uh, journey to create a marketing plan. And we're at the first step select your target market. Okay, so let's get into some notes. Um, so, first thing he points out, Alan points out, is targeting everyone with your product is a terrible idea. Okay, and I've had experience with this. It is a terrible idea because. Um, not everyone's interested in what you're selling, basically, right? I, I actually thought a really good analogy for this with dating. You're not attractive to every woman in the world, right? You're not attracted to every woman in the world. So um, why would you think everyone is attracted to your product, right? That That's basically that's basically the um, what he's getting at. So, um, And then the next thing he points out is you don't have, even if they were, even if you, everyone wanted your product you don't have enough money time or attention starting out to market to everyone you just don't okay like coca-cola can do it because they got billions and billions of dollars right and thousands and thousands of employees starting out you you don't have that type of leverage right um so now the next thing he points out is and we've all heard you need a niche a niche is a, a tightly defined portion of a subcategory is what he describes um and he goes into some exercises which i'll be doing later to, this week um, to define um, your niche um, but then he points out and you remember being all things to all people leads to a marketing failure so don't try to be everything um, let's use the trade you wouldn't want to try to be a, a plumber some companies do do this though by the way and I, 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 I got meal um, some companies do do this uh, to um, um, I, I know a particular fellow who he's, he's like a plumber and then he's an electrician and then he does concrete and then he does um, machine movie um and he tries to do all this stuff and he tries to market to everyone i know him and he is he's poor i mean he's been doing this for 50 years and he's poor okay it just it's just I, i've seen people do this and i know the, i've seen the result that they get right so terrible terrible idea um and then he brings up but i, I never really thought of this um a, you, when you niche, you could get more money, okay? And the reason is, is that a specialist is sought after rather than shopped on a price, right? If I want to go buy a pair of socks, right, just work socks, I'm going to go probably to Walmart to get them, right? Because I'm, I'm not really, I just want socks, right? But if I had, like, say, um, brain cancer, I'd probably go to the best brain cancer specialist in the world, and I don't care how much it would cost, right? Because that's a specialist. I seek Tim out. If I just need socks, like I don't even really want the socks. I just need them because they got holes. I'm going to go for price. But if it's something like I need and I need to look, I'm looking for it, I'm going to sort out a specialist, right? So that, that's why niching is so important. Um, so his advice is figure out the one thing your market wants, uh, wants a solution to, something they'll pay handsomely for, then enter the conversation. Preferably something they go to bed worrying about and waking up thinking about do this and your results will dramatically improve uh, and the beautiful thing is is um, another another youtuber I watch uh, Dan Cole he says you are um, for stuff like for like this channel you are like me the creator in my own niche right there are things that I go to bed about thinking of that worry me and I wake up worrying about them right so if I can solve that problem I can solve that for other people that's his that's his advice um, which is pretty good advice the next thing um, is he gives us like a um, when you're selecting like what service you're going to provide, what product you're going to provide. He says to think of three things. Like if you have a like let's say you narrow it down to five things you're interested in. Which one gives you personal fulfillment, right? Um, which one does the value market, and what in which one does the pro is something that the market will pay for? And I actually um, I actually it was a. Uh, this brings up a, a point. Um, I'm sure if you've ever looked into like making money online, they say don't get into art. Like don't be an artist and try to make money. And really, it's it's or like like you know like don't try to write your own comic book and expect to make billions off of it. And the reason for that is um, it might be personally enjoyable and the, you might get readers, right? But is it something people would pay for? It's this last one that holds it back because there's so much free shit out there. Like why? Like why would you pay some? Why would you pay for something when there's entertainment that is equally as good and free? Like right? That that's the problem. So 
Ooh, my allergies just kicked in. I apologize. Um, so that that's so I I'm, I have a couple things I'm gonna be thinking about um, over the next few days. Um, so then he goes and uh, so once you have like an ideal market, create an avatar, right? Create an avatar. And he has some questions. I'm not gonna list them out because these are really good questions. And I think you should uh, I think you should buy the book. By the way, um, these notes are condensed. By the way, guys, there's a lot more he talks about. I'm just taking like highlight things that got me my mind thinking. Um, and when you know your avatar, Alex Morosi talks about this. He he talks about have one product, one avatar, one way you market, and you can make a million dollars just having those three aspects in line. So create an avatar by uh, answering the questions in the book, um, and then you find a visual. He suggests Alan suggests you have a visual, like a visual cue that represents an avatar, and you have it in front of you when you're creating the market material for them. All right. So for all that in mind, guys. Um, I got some two action items. I want to do a the PVP, you know, personal fulfillment, value, and profit for my day job, for BMA, which is this channel, Bathmates Adventures, and for dating, right? I want to do for those three things, and then I want to create an avatar for my day job, BMA, and dating, right? So I'm going to do uh, next, this coming up Friday when I do my weekly review, this is what I'm going to be covering. These two things right here. I'm going to do take the week and get these really thought out. Um, and some will be easy and some will be hard and there we go. Um, so that's what I got for tonight, guys. Um, by the way, it is New Year's Eve. I hope you all have a wonderful New Year's Eve. I'm going out tonight. Um, have a little fun. Um, and I wish you all a happy New Year's, and I will see you tomorrow.